Hey everybody, it's me, an Obsessed Rangers fan. I am back with NFL Week 2 picks. If you didn't see my last short, or, I mean last video, I make NFL I make NFL picks every Wednesday or Thursday. And um, we are back for Week 2 pickums. Um, last week wasn't the best. I went 9-6, nine, si nine and, and then there was a, the tie. My dad went 8-7, and seven, and then there was the tie. So I went 9-6-1. Nine and, nine, and one. He went nine, or he went eight, seven, and one overall. I'm nine, six, and one. He's eight, seven, and one. Last season again, we went one hundred seventy-two and ninety-nine. Let's jump right into it. Thursday night football, seven twenty p.m. Central Time, on Amazon Prime Video or just Prime Video. We have the Los Angeles Chargers at the Kansas City Chiefs. Now this is a really good matchup. A matchup between two teams that are honestly going to probably be fighting for that division. Um, we have the Chargers. They don't have Keenan Allen, so that's honestly not going to help. That's why I had the Chiefs winning. I would have had the Chiefs winning either way, but I had the Chiefs winning by even more than I would have expected them to. Um, I honestly might have expected it. I mean, I mean, yeah, the final score, I have Kansas City winning 34 to 27. If the Chargers had Keen Allen, I might have honestly had it like 34 to 33. Um, but anyway, yeah, the Chiefs, they destroyed the Cardinals last week. Patrick um, Mahomes went off. And again, the Chargers were good, but they don't have Keenan Allen for the next few weeks, so they're not going to win this game. Now, Sunday... September 18th, 12 p.m. Central Time. We have the New York Jets at the Cleveland Browns. The Browns won on a late field goal against the Panthers, and the Jets did absolutely nothing on offense. They usually don't, but... Um, I have the Browns winning this game 20 to 13. Now we have the Washington Commanders at the Detroit Lions. Detroit Lions they almost came back to beat Philadelphia. I was hoping they I was hoping they could have done it but they weren't able to but it was good. They still did really good and then the Commanders they beat the Jags. They almost blew it but they ended up winning, but the final score for this game, I have Detroit winning 27-23. <laughs> and then we have the Tampa Bay Buccaneers at the New Orleans Saints. The Buccaneers beat my Cowboys 19-3. Dak Prescott is out for six to eight weeks. Yeah. Um, so yeah, not, not good for us, but... The Buccaneers won. Tom Brady did fine. Julio Jones did pretty good. Mike Evans had a touchdown. Their defense was outstanding. Um, and then the Saints almost blew it against the Falcons, but they were able to come back at the end. And in this game, I have the Saints winning 28-27. to Yeah, the Buccaneers can, nev can never beat the Saints the, pa the past few years. Really, the Saints have beaten the or swept the Bucks in the regular season both years with Tom Brady as the Buccaneers quarterback. So I have New Orleans winning twenty eight to twenty seven, and that's gonna be. I don't know if I would necessarily consider it like a super big upset, but um, ESPN has the Buccaneers having a seventy percent chance to win. So I guess I would call it an upset. <laughs> Next, we have the Carolina Panthers at the New York Giants. Um, <coughs> Panthers had a disappointing loss against the Browns. Um, and the Giants had a surprising win against the Tennessee Titans. So, um, two, I mean, not, I mean not, not like super crazy games. I was not expecting the Giants to win, but I don't think they'll win this week because I have the Panthers winning 21-17. to now for the New England Patriots at the Pittsburgh Steelers. 
the Patriots. Patriots did absolutely nothing against the Miami Dolphins last week. Um, they lost 20-7. to They did literally nothing. And the Steelers had a surprising victory against the Bengals. They were able to cause like 18 million turnovers. No, but Joe Burrow threw four interceptions. Um, but I don't think the Steelers will win this week because... Well, T.J. Watt's injured, and that is their defense. He's the best player. So, yeah, I have New England winning 23-20. to Now we have the Indianapolis Colts at the Jacksonville Jaguars. Colts, um, what did they do last week? Oh, yeah, the Colts tied with the Houston Texans. And the Jaguars almost came back versus the Commanders, but they ended up losing, um, so, yeah, the Colts tie. That's very, very, very weird a tie. I mean, there's usually one tie every year, but, um. So, yeah, but this game I have the Colts winning 24 to 17. And now for our final 12 o'clock game, we have the Miami Dolphins at the Baltimore Ravens. This, I think, will be a very good game. The Dolphins, um, I mean, really just demolished the Patriots. Patriots didn't do anything. And the Ravens easily beat the Jets. Um, this game, I have the Miami Dolphins winning 24-23 to as my second upset, I guess. Um, there's a decent amount of people picking the Dolphins, so I don't know if it's that big of an upset, but again, ESPN has... The Ravens with a 71% chance to win, so Miami Dolphins winning 24-23, I guess, will be an upset. And now Sunday are 3.05 p.m. games. We have the Atlanta Falcons at the Los Angeles Rams. Los Angeles Rams got absolutely demolished by the Bills. Not what I was expecting at all. Um, and then the Atlanta Falcons, who surprisingly almost beat the Saints. I mean, the Falcons, I, I was not I, I am not expecting them to do much of anything this season. I mean, if you haven't seen my predictions video, go watch it. But I have the Falcons going 2-15, and 15, so I have them being really bad, and they almost beat the Saints. Um, I don't think they're almost going to win this game. I do have the Rams bouncing back, beating the Falcons 31-24. to 24. And now we have the Seattle Seahawks at the San Francisco 49ers. The Seahawks beat the Broncos on Monday night, putting Russell Wilson back in his spot back in Denver. Um, he wasn't going to beat them. I mean, I predicted the Broncos to win, but Seattle ended up winning. And um, the 49ers got ups upset by the Bears. 19-10, to 10. again, the Bears, a, a team that I have going 4-13 and 13 or 3-14. and 14. I don't expect them to be a good team at all. Um, so, yeah, I don't expect them to be a good team at all. Um, but they beat the 49ers. Um, but this game, I have the 49ers bouncing back to beat the Seahawks 24-20. to 20. And now we're 3.25 p.m. at games. We have the Cincinnati Bengals at my Dallas Cowboys. Dallas Cowboys, again, we don't have Dak Prescott, so I don't really know what we're going to do now. Um, it's still the... So, I'm just going to jump right into it. I have the Bengals winning 27-20. to 20. I don't want to have much spend much time on that game. And then we have the Houston Texans at the Denver Broncos. Again, Broncos got upset, I guess, by the Seahawks. And the Texans tied with the Colts. Uh, but this game, I have the Broncos winning 24-20. to And then the Arizona Cardinals at the Las Vegas Raiders. Cardinals, I think, are a good team. They just have a kind of a hard schedule. Um, um, so, um, I mean, yeah, they got demolished by the Chiefs, but they didn't play that bad. And then the Raiders lost to the Chargers. Um, but this game, I had the Raiders coming on top, 31-25, to beating the Cardinals. And then we have Sunday Night Football at 
p.m. Central Time. We have the Chicago Bears at the Green Bay Packers. It's always one Sunday night game of these two teams each year. It might be the biggest rivalry in all of NFL football, so that's why they always have at least one Sunday night game against each other, even though the Bears are really bad. Um, um, but the Bears, again, bad team. Packers are a good team. They, I... They lost to Minnesota. I did actually see that coming. So, um, they the Packers, then, I mean, whatever. But I predict the Vikings to win. They did win. But I think the Packers will win this game 30-20. to 20, And this is going to be my lock of the week. <laughs> and then now we have two Monday night games. We have the Tennessee Titans at the Buffalo Bills. Titans got off a disappointing loss against the New York Giants and the Bills destroyed the um, the Rams. Um, this game, I don't see it being that much different. I don't think the Bills will destroy the Titans, but they will win by 11 points. I have the Bills winning 38-27. to 27. Oh, and that game is at 6.15 p.m. And then we have the final game of the week, Monday Night Football at 7.30 p.m. Central Time, we have the Minnesota Vikings and the Philadelphia Eagles. This, I think, will be a really good game. Um, we have the Vikings coming off a good win versus the Packers. And the Eagles coming off a win against the Lions. They almost blew it. Um, um, the Vikings, of course, they have their good players. Eagles have a few okay players. Um... I predict the Vikings will win this game 31 to 26, beating the Philadelphia Eagles. Yeah, I'm saying it right now. Suck it, Eagles. So, yeah, that's going to be my final predictions. Here's the paper if you want to look at it just to see my predictions. Again, for a second. Love me. And that's going to be it for this video. There's also one thing that. Um, happened in the NBA on Sunday. I was going to make a short, but I mean, look at the condition of my phone. It's all cracked. I don't even know how it happened. One day, it was in my backpack, and then I took it out, um, and it just came like this. So, if I don't upload much shorts, like, really late, like, really much at all um, in the coming week, it's because it's kind of hard to use this thing. I mean, I mean, if I want to go, I really have to ask Siri to bring me to an app. So, um, the NBA thing that happened is the Dallas Mavericks extended forward Maxi Kleba. Um, Maxi Kleba, he's good at what he we want him to do. He's good at three pointers. He's really good at defense, and um, I think it's a uh, a nice little extension. So, yeah. Again, I was going to make that into a short, but again, the condition of my phone, it's not very easy to, so, yeah. Um, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you all guys have enjoyed this video. If you liked it, consider maybe leaving a like. If you really like my videos, consider subscribing. You don't have to. Um, and then comments are probably turned off. I don't want them turned off, but they always are. And that's going to be it for this video. And as always, go Rangers and F you Astros. I'll maybe see you all later for a Ranger game. So, Peace out.